fire success. Fire success or failure depends on the rate of heat production fuel size progression and airflow pathways. Two fires can have the same exact triangle, but behave completely differently. Knowing the triangle doesn't mean that you understand fire. So let's talk about airflow first. We understand that fire needs oxygen, but too much or too little will kill it. That's evident when tightly packed material uh, re restricts oxygen. In a loose structure, it allows for flame growth, much like when I have these pine needles ignited. If I lay the pine needles on top, it restricts airflow it begins to smolder. However, when I lift up the pine needles and allow for more oxygen flow, the flames become the flames become reignited and more apparent. And wind can help or hurt depending on the direction or intensity. But smoke behavior can be a diagnostic tool. Rising smoke, as seen here, indicates healthy airflow. Thick, stagnant smoke, as seen here, by throwing these this pile of leaves on, which is what people love to do, equals oxygen starvation. If you see the difference, then you're on the right track. If your fire is, sm if your fire is smoking, it is struggling. 